are we looking at a, uh, a regulated utility system now for, for banks in the financial industry? I mean, to a certain extent, you could say, gosh, it certainly looks that way. That's the trend. Um, it, you know, when I think about what's happened both here in the U.S. and globally, right, so the Dodd-Frank Act, but also what other governments around the world and what's transpired as a result of the global economic crisis and how governments around the world have responded, you know, I think, governmental, I think of governmental action in three ways, um, regulation, supervision, and enforcement. Um, and I think there's been an increase in all three, um, you know, clearly. Um, and I think the question, though, that I, because we're not a bank, right? First Aid is not a bank. But what I see from our bank customers, our financial institution customers, um, are, you know, at times they're sort of balancing all three of those issues, right? Re new regulation, new supervision, enforcement. And I think in and of itself, those things aren't necessarily bad, but it is how effective are they? Because I think there's, at times, um, you know, our, our governments at times can have, a, like during the financial crisis, right, they feel like, gosh, they, they got to act or react to something. What I always get to is, you know, what are the root causes of what happened? Um, and maybe it's not a regulation issue. Maybe it's a more of an enforcement issue. I, I, I don't know, and I don't, uh, and, you know, but I do think at times we all have to work with our governments to, to say, let's take a step back and understand what is the specific issue at hand. Well, let me ask you this. Did Dodd-Frank get to those root causes? Probably in some areas and probably not in others. I think it's, you know, because it's such a broad, broad, massive law, right? And, and so I, I think in some areas, maybe it did, but in some areas, I think it didn't. 